So, okay, back here. Let's go and use the control room key. Of course, also get hit by the sharks because this wouldn't be right if I wouldn't get hit by the sharks. It has to be like that. It's funny that he didn't came out of the bath again because he came in. Strange, but anyway. It's funny that they added um, that these motherfuckers can came uh, that these motherfuckers can enter doors. Yeah, at least sometimes. Oh, come on, not... Oh. That's what I wanted to say, not in the first time I... Yeah, anyway. But the... No, no. Whew. Close. And also this one is useless after one use, so we can put it aside and we are... And we are in a nice um, location. I remember from a friend called uh, Opti1R. You should check him out if you like to hear German. Uh, really... Um, a really good, good commentary voice. He has, and uh, he's <laughs> he's funny. Uh, so, um, was a really nice scene when he was in this place. Okay, she don't needs to regulate the oil pressure now. That's what she says. Okay, let's check what is here. Okay, take care if, oh, if we have the map of the aqua ring. Um, it says, take care if the pressure falls, open, um, how is it called? Valve 1. Actually, we couldn't do anything about it and because it says it's not necessary but if it gets necessary open valve one a pressure chamber yeah nothing more oh this shows an error message Okay, we can um, let sink the water, and I think that was the thing we have to do also first. But just for the case, let me check everything. Okay, this door get keeps or this door is closed because of the water pressure. So, I'm a little bit scared, but I guess this is the control panel for the main system. Okay, I just don't have to get confused by the things I have to do. That's all. Yes, do it. 
Okay, so the stupid shark comes Move crashing through the window. Emergency. And now Unknown we're under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Um, it says 10%, safety. you see, and you don't, you cannot read what it's in the description because it's German. So now we have to regulate um, the pressure from different panels. And um, if it goes to 100, I think it's over. So instant death. So better, we, we will not let that happen. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Yeah, now we got this. Regulate the oil pressure. It's eight. One. A valve one. Which can be different in every playthrough you do. Oh, this camera is... Okay, and now... The window shut. And... And we are cool. This, it really looked easy, but I, I promise you, for the people who never played it before, when you play this the first time and you have this situation, you get so stressed by the 10% uh, which are rising. And I'm sure most of the people died, because in a situation like that, when you're under pressure, you mostly forget what you, what you read before and do the things we right in the right order and so now this bump should be open yeah and we have some new rooms i think these are um for lucky coins of course we take grenades. We love grenades. And I cannot remember exactly which doors, because you've seen there's many, or not many, but two more options. I cannot remember where I have to go. So we have to figure that out. Because I'm a little bit insecure of course and I'm pretty sorry um, I know I sound different in the Silent Hill game uh, walkthrough because this week it's really tiring um, because of the coronavirus. Um, yeah, let's shoot this shark. You should shoot the shark. Shoot the shark. Um, oh, the work is incredible and you have to d work in um, at different times, like times changing, you know, like a, like, like Baker Man's. Oh. Tough shit, for me at least. Actually, I'm up really early. Also, come back more early, but I'm a person who is okay. Here, this shark moves. Don't go into the water now. You have to do some shit here. Let me see how. Yes. So, electricity, right? Last time, uh, the first time I use the electricity and um, ah okay yes it, it shows you what you have to do the first time I did it I just um, pull down the lever and then step into the water which makes nothing because this pa uh, panel is still here so you have to put it in and then use the electricity lever 
because else the shark will eat you. That's what happened to me the first time. Yeah, and like I say, it's a little bit tiring right now. The works so with that. I'm sounding a little bit tired or much tired also while um, doing commentary. Besides that, this is re. Oh, this is like a. I don't know how it is called. You know, I played the game and then I recorded the commentary uh, while I usually do the commentary while I'm playing because that is, um, you know, the most natural way to do things, I think. But I've seen um, a, another guy in YouTube a few times. I watched, yeah, I watched complete um, speedruns of this guy. Not that I'm a big fan of speedruns. Actually, I, I don't. I think they are like um, overused for now because everybody's doing. If you have a new game, for example, Resident Evil 3, it came out and like one hour after, it's just like I'm overacting it. But the first hour it came, at one hour after the release, you could have a speed button like that, playing on hardcore the first time, S something like that. And uh, so it's harder to find casual walkthroughs um, than speedruns actually and that's kind of annoying because I know I love speedruns because it's something like spectacular but don't you agree that playing a game or watching even watching a game the first time um, the coolest way is having the complete story and um, you know like living the game that makes sense to me. I don't know how, but uh, I don't know about you, but to me it is that way. So, anyways, this guy is running. He's re doing really well. At least he let you check the whole story of the game. What I like that he don't skips the cutscenes and everything. I don't like that. Um, it's called Carcino again, if I um, pronounce it right. And he is doing. His commentary always after playing the game, so he explains. I cannot explain because I don't have uh, much knowledge about the game. I just played it, the times I played it, and that's it. Um, but of course, if you play a game like um, a game you you played like four times in a year, five years in a row, you can explain every shit because you get better and better. So. This commentary is kind of difficult for me, but including my tiredness. But um, I was a little bit like I wanted to do this in English because I did it already in German like that, and I wanted to know if it works. For now, for myself, it don't work, but maybe that will change. We will see because we are still far from the end of the game. In my world. Okay, so anyways the aqua ring entering the aqua ring the aqua ring again um, was wrong for now so we have to take the other way which is here, which is also more logical. That's my cat. One of these idiot. No Siamese, they always want much love. And by the way, so while doing this and being more relaxed and less emotional than in Silent Hill, um, and since I have lots of viewers for the fighting games I do, 
and since I recognize where you guys are from mostly I'm interested um, I'm interested in you because I'm grateful so if you like tell me things about you tell me about like what I asked you before the Resident Evil experiences tell me about what game you favor um, tell me why because I'm interested maybe there's games I don't know and maybe I like them to play because I like what you tell about it yeah that would be nice I'm trying to as you can see I try to communicate a little bit more with doing English walkthroughs now and believe me or not I will do in the future I will do most of my um, game walkthroughs in English there will be some games I will record with my um, nephew because I love to play with him games and I don't want to I'm happy if he um, oh by the way this is also one use key um, because I'm always happy when he likes to play with me because we always have lots of fun you can see in the Resident Evil 3 remake walkthrough we did at least after video 8 I think uh, because before that the sound was terrible that changed and um, from video 8 on everything is perfect so anyways it's so much fun playing um, making walkthroughs with him but of course I cannot say like oh now we have to do it in English because you know it should not be work for him of course he also she has the, na the, the same noobish um, knowledge about English, but I don't want to, you know, make it like work for him to be too much focused on what he says. So we do it, do it in German. So and that will stay. So, uh, things like that will stay. I think we will do the Resident Evil 2 remake walk through also together at least one of the scenarios and then i will decide if i do the other scenario same way i will do it here okay anyway since we find this scientist which is like killed by the bees and he had this um, um how is it called anti-insect spray we use it in this place you have to use it in this place no you don't have to but if you don't you will lose lots of energy because you will get hit by these bees all the time and this is also one of our key rooms for the rest of the residential uh, of the guest house area you see this door which I was close to. We need that one soon. And we should be able to find something here now, right? Something but the red herb. Yep another key but we take the red herb anyway and then we should make our way back soon to uh, inventory box I think what is this room 003 Maybe I can do also a walkthrough in Espanol using less commentary, much less commentary if I get some help from Tori, but we will see that in the future. And it has to be a really slow game, even more slow than this one. another bath tube full of dirty water oh 
Oh, self-defense dagger. Okay. Yeah, this place will also be this. These are the roots of a plant. She said, of a gi of a giant plant. Let us assume it is plant forty-two. And so we have to come to this room oh, a little bit later. But our inventory is full of shit now, so... What do we have here? Here's something like a... drawer and more plant with a swarm of moth and big trees cover the window so you can see yeah and here oh Die Ähnlichkeit in den Zellgemeinschaften der schnell wachsenden Pflanze, die mit dem Piranvirus infiziert wurde, sind bereits an der anderer Stelle dokumentiert. Bei der Wiederholung dieser Experimente ergab sich jedoch ein interessanter Aspekt. Wir konnten belegen, dass eine Chemikalie UMB-Gruppe UMB Nummer 20 äh, einen Stoff äh, enthält, der für die Zellen der Pflanze giftig ist. Ja. So, wir haben UMB Nummer 20 einen neuen Namen gegeben. Ah ja, V-Jolt. Unsere Berechnung zufolge sollte die Anwendung V-Jolt direkt auf die Wurzel der Pflanze in 5 Sekunden zu deren völligen Aussterben führen. Mann. V-Jolt lässt sich durch die Mischung der Chemikalien VB und UMB in einem bestimmten Mischverhältnis herstellen. Umgang mit UMB-Chemikalien erfordert jedoch besondere Vorsichtsmaßnahmen bei dem unsachgemäßen Vorgehen, ja, kann Gift das freigesetzt werden. So, dann habe ich, then we have a list here. You can check that out. I think how to translate red, yellow, green, orange, blue and dark brown is not the hardest thing in the world. So, they, the science did success with a um, substance which can kill the plant within five seconds. Um, after putting this substance um, on the roots of the plant. Um, and that is the way how we avoid the end, the um, boss fight against plant 42, because we will create these stupid V-jolt substance to kill the, the flower so that we don't have to fight it. Or at least something like that. Sorry for the noise. So we are back in our favorite room to save the day because if something would get lost of the things we play already play um, that would be the opposite of a good day so far what places did you prefer here Ah, anyways, we come to that the next time. I thank you for watching. Um, stay chilled, chill your day, and nobody ruin your life. Because life is one thing you have, and you should be really careful with it. So, again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you the next time on Resident Evil 1. Ah, uh, yeah, Resident Evil HD Remaster. Um, Hopefully more awake or maybe more tired. God only knows. You will see. I'm trying my best. So, 
Cheers to you. Cheers to North and South and Middle America. Guys, you was the Shepherd 82.